So today we're going to be talking about Parallel Sync. Pretty much you guys can download, well, you guys can Google search Parallel Sync and then you'll see this GitHub repository here. Can I just copy this whole thing now? Let's just download it. We will download it and I'll just add it to my project. Add it to my asset library. Let's extract it all first here. I'll just move it over there to my assets. And maybe now, uh, it's compiling. I think it saw that we have a new asset now. Let's see if it can make sense of this. Yeah, that worked, perfect. So now we have the parallel sync option up here, which is what I wanted. All right, so yeah, you can do it that way, basically. Just go to the GitHub repository, download the zip file, and then extract it, and then move that file into your asset folder in your project. And then your Unity editor should do the rest and give you this. All right, so now that we have parallel sync here, we can go to Clone Manager, and we can create a new clone. Shouldn't take too long because my project's pretty small. Hmm. All right, so we have one clone there. We can add another clone. Okay, perfect. So now that we have those two clones, we can say open a new editor. All right, perfect. Close that. But for now, I'll just minimize it. Uh, all right, so we have clone one open. We can open, well, clone zero is open. Clone one is now going to be opening. And we still have our original one. And it should copy over the exact same settings and everything as your original project. So that's fine. All right. So this is my original one. Clone manager. I guess I'll just add it right there so I have it. That's my clone manager. My project settings, my build settings, I have my new scene, that's fine, so, all right, so now what you do, once you have your two clones and you have them open, um, for this first one, the main one, you want to just press, uh, press play, and then you can say start server only, so now that you started the server, you can go ahead and grab your test clone here, this should be clone zero, and I'll just do this so I can see both of them, and then test clone two. So I have my two test clones. Now we can press play on these guys here, and we can just say join server. Boom, this guy's going to join the server. And then this one here, press play, and again, say join server. <clears throat> Boom, all of a sudden we have multiple characters in the game. So that's how you can basically go about and get a few players in the game, and then you can test out different things in the game. Whoa. My sensitivity is like a little crazy right now. Oh yeah. Basically, that's all I wanted to do. So now I can start testing the multiplayer functionality of my game.
anyway guys that's all i got for this video today if you guys enjoyed this and found it useful i'd appreciate you guys subscribing and hitting that like button um this is basically what i'm using here is invector and emi so um depending on i guess what type of game you're building and um it may look a little different but i think parallel sync will will work for any type of multiplayer game um like i said it just how you go about starting the server and getting the characters to join the server may look maybe a little different um but this is a pretty useful tool that uh, you can use if you're trying to test your multiplayer game um so you don't have to keep building you know the game um yeah so anyway that's all i got for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it